hello and welcome to another lesson and today we are going to learn how to draw captain america so captain america is a very very famous um uh, superhero and he has appeared in so many many comic books he is the strongest avenger and today we are going to learn how to draw him so we are going to start off by drawing um the basic shape of his head and so we are going to draw the shape then after that we are going to draw the mask and then from there on now we are going to draw the nose and the mouth Also on his mask there is a letter A which I think stands for America. Then from there on now we are going to draw his hand. Also to be able to draw this drawing very well you have to be good at drawing shapes and it's very very easy to draw um um it's very very easy to draw good shapes so just make sure that you can draw um all the shapes from circles to squares to rectangles to to even stars so that it can be easy for you to draw any um shape that you want any shape that you want so after that now uh, i am going to draw the legs then after that now we are going to draw the shield Now after that now I'm going to take my marker pen and I'm just going to draw over the pencil the pe the pencil work and make sure while you are you are drawing the outline make sure that you draw even the smallest detail so that we cannot miss out on anything And once I'm done with that, now I'm going to take my my eraser and I'm going to erase all the pencil work so that we can have a network. And after that, now I'm going to take out my color blue and I'm going to start coloring the mask. So we know very well that Captain America's suit is always blue in color and it has some... Um, some white and red strips on the on the on his abs or the abdomen and i think this is to represent the american um flag i'm not sure about that 
but his suit consists of color blue, red, and white. Also, um, make sure that you color within the lines and make sure that you color one or two layers. And if you feel that you, that you still haven't colored very well or that still some white spaces on your drawing, make sure you can just add another layer. And the more layers you add, the more realistic it's going to be. Don't worry about coloring over the, don't worry about coloring over the the marker outline until it vanish just know that if it vanishes you can use you can you can draw it again using the marker pen and it's just going to be very good so just make sure that you color well and color within the line So the shield is basically color red and white and also color blue and a white star between it. So make sure that you've gotten all those details right so that it can look very interesting. For the face, um, we are going to use beige in color for his pe or for his face, and also for the ears, we are going to use color beige. If you noticed, his suit does not cover his ears and does not cover the whole face like the way um, Spider-Man's suit is. It just covers the eyes and the rest of the f of and the rest of the head and if there are any white spaces that are left make sure that you go back and draw it and also for the eyes um we didn't mention that we are going to use color black and if you don't want to use color black you can use your marker pen and it's going to be even more realistic you can use your marker pen if you want to or sometimes even after you finish coloring with your pencil you can draw or you can color with your marker pen again on top of the of the colors on top of the colored pencil and it's going to make it even look more realistic because it's going to increase the the contrast or it's going to make it even more vibrant So once I'm done with that, um, you can see that we have our Captain America. He looks young and handsome and very colorful. So I hope you've learned something in this lesson. Um, if it has come out very well, you can show it to people, you can show it to friends and family. And just make sure that you keep it well. And you, just can, you can just hang it somewhere in your room. So thank you very much. I am going to see you in the next lesson. I hope you had fun. So thank you.